What's going on everybody? I am the goods on YouTube. TG so good everywhere else. You guys know when you come to this channel, I'm probably gonna be messing around with the game. Doing stuff with the game that I probably shouldn't be. Um, I'm just gonna tell you I normally I would have been playing the game if PC was next gen. But I've been playing this uh, the current gen version of the game for so long that I just don't have an interest in playing. I'm just messing around with every single thing in the game. Anyway, so today I'm going to show you guys how to, I guess, uh, extract cutscenes from the game as far as like the file for the cutscene. Okay, well, I guess we could, let's see. No, I don't want to use this one. Let me see if I can find a better cutscene real quick. I don't know how long it'll take me to find one, but uh, let me see. Just want to find something with a different name. A lot of these are not working. All right, so I'm going to go with this scene. I'm going to show you guys how to extract this scene and then hopefully replace like some of the player, uh, some of the characters within the scene. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I was far from the mic, but I'm going to grab this scene, show you how to get it, try to replace it or whatever. Let's see what we got. All right, so we got, you know, the business manager, which is his girlfriend, the agent, which is Ricky walking away. And then we got, you know, the my player. So, all right, everybody walking away. Let me pause the video. Well, no, I'm not going to pause the video. Let me back out. So right here, I don't know if you can see, but the file name is at the very top. The file name is at the very top. Now, it says that the environment name is Office Business Hub. We could change the environment. I'm not going to change the environment. I'm leaving the environment as it is. But um, file name is MCI underscore 00040 underscore biz hub intro. So I need to go to the manifest file, which I already have opened up. Let me close that. Um, I already have it opened in notepad plus plus. Let me. Let me see, I'm gonna clear all this out. Notepad plus plus manifest for 2K23 is right here. So I'm gonna do control F and I'm gonna search for MCI. Um, let's see. Underscore zero 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 four zero underscore biz. Let's see what pops up. Okay, a few things pop up. All right, let me just do find all in current document. There we go. So it finds all the names and what we are looking for. See, these first two are dot wave files. That's the audio. Don't need that. Subtitles don't need that. But we do need this down here where it says story slash story scene. And then it has the file name MCI underscore zero 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 four zero underscore biz hub intro dot if. Now that is where we can replace characters. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab all that right there, all the way to where it says, if copy, come over here, press F8. Um, let me show you where I'm at. I'm in mods, file manager, and then click file export. Let me delete everything from here, paste this in, and then it's gonna export it to my game directory slash exports folder. So. Every time you see a slash when you're we're trying to get files, every time you see a slash, that's a folder. So it's going to be inside of a folder called story. And in there be another folder called story scene. And then there will be a file. All right. So let's click export. All right. Everything is exported. Let's click F8 again. Get rid of that menu on the game. Now, this tutorial is more for people who've been modding or people who are willing to rewind the video and watch it over and over again to kind of get an understanding. It's not really for anybody that's brand new, but anyway, let's keep going with mods. All right, so I gotta get to my exports folder, 2K23 directory, exports folder, and then there's that folder I told you about. It will be called story. And then another folder I told you about, let me do, uh, oh no view it as just a large so story scene and then finally we have the file that we're looking for but i'm gonna go ahead and take that whole folder 
I'm gonna go ahead and copy that over to my 2K23 mods folder, paste it in. All right. So now, now I'm gonna go in here. All right. So this this if file can be opened up with a program called Seven Zip. And I, I've I've been doing these videos for years, so I've definitely already explained it. Um, I'm not gonna drag and drop it. Actually, I just need to go to this address. I'll copy that address into seven zip, press paste, and there is the file. I double click the if file and now I'm inside of it. All right, so it has all the animations for the characters, everything related to the animations. Got some subtitles. What we need is this dot JSON file. Now let me see if it'll open up from here. If I drag it over, I don't think it will. All right, cool. That's fine. So what I'm going to do is drag the dot JSON file over to my desktop. There it is. There it is. All right. So then I'm going to, then I'm going to drag that dot JSON file into notepad plus plus. Let me clear this stuff at the bottom. Don't need that stuff anymore. All right. So in notepad plus plus now that dot JSON file, we can see the, the characters that were in that scene. So they've got Mila Garver, Ricky Bennett, and the my player. Now I'm going to change the my player to star player and see what happens. Cause I believe it will show the team star player. Anyway, I could be wrong. We're going to save it, minimize everything. And then, um, then I'm going to drag this JSON file back into here, back into seven zip. Ask me, do I want to, you know, overwrite some stuff? Yeah, I want to update this archive. Yes. All right. So see if I back out. Yeah, I'm still good. Okay, cool. I'll stay in it. Um, But I should be able to go back into the game, play the scene again, and it should look different. Hopefully. Yeah, what's going on? There it is. All right, something, uh, something went wrong. Now I got to find that scene again. That sucks. All right, so it was MCI. MCI 040. Here, uh, it was 040. Where is it? There it is. There we go. So you can see the characters are different now, but the star player, the star player designation doesn't work like it did in years past for whatever reason, star player, whenever you would put star player, it would uh, do a star player of an NBA team, but hmm. all right. So let's, uh, let's, Back it up. Let's let's do this. Let's see. Can we? Hmm. Can is it possible? Let's see. Let's go back into Notepad Plus Plus. So we've got my player. I wonder. Can we get? I wonder. Can I put Ronnie Sing? I'm gonna try Ronnie. Sing. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to find out. Save and drag the JSON file back into 7-zip. Click yes. Minimize all that stuff. But okay, then go back into the game. Let's see if this scene works. I don't know why the it's not showing like it's supposed to, but whatever. Yeah, nothing is changing. Like I can't actually see what's going on in the scene. 
So, uh, nope. Ronnie Singh does not work. And yeah, the girlfriend has a different face texture because I was messing around. All right, so it's still this guy in the hat. Yeah, this video is kind of long. Um, but anyway, let me let me see if I do. Let me back out of this. Let me see. I need to get another another scene with somebody else so I can see like what characters are what. Ah, oh, that's still Ricky. I don't care about what he's talking about. Forget it. You know what? I'll just do Ricky Bennett. All right, go back. I'm gonna go back to Notepad, which I never removed. I'm gonna get Ricky Bennett's name. I'm gonna copy it to the spot where my player was. I'm gonna paste him in there. Paste. Save. It's already saved to my desktop right here. Drag it from my desktop back in the seven zip. Click yes. Go back into the game. Oh, this is the wrong scene. In the wrong scene. Here we go. Yo, what's going on? Okay. <laughs> that crashed the game all together. All right. That crashed the game all together. So I guess it doesn't like the same characters being in the scene more than once. So what I'm what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna um, extract the whole. Let's see, I'm gonna extract the whole folder. That's not what I'm looking for. Let me see what it was called. All right, story scene. If I extract this, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. Uh, I'm just going to copy. Oh, well, I'm going to see what's in there. Let's see if it'll do it. Ah, it says it does not exist. All right, cool. You got to extract an ex you got to extract an actual file. Anyway, I showed you that you can change the character. Um, maybe I'll do a part two to this video because I don't want the video to get too long. But anyway, yeah. 